What's up, y'all? It's your boy T Thizzle 88. It's just T Thizzle saying hi to Infinite Sizzles as he is getting ready to bring y'all, yes, another season calm. First of all, you all are probably wondering at the moment, who is this dude? Why is this not Infinite on the mic or behind the scenes right now? Well, let me introduce you all to who I am. I'm T Thizzle 88. I'm currently uh, Matt Infinite through the Prolix Army Clan. And Prolix Army is basically a Call of Duty clan that just unites all types of Call of Duty players, pub stompers, YouTubers, just different types. We have graphic designers. We have a lot of different categories that fall into Prolix. Me, I'm not more so part of the actual competitive teams or anything like that. I just have fun whenever I can. But that's how I met Prolix. I met him through the clan chat on Skype. And we pretty much went talked about YouTube channels and stuff like that. And if we wanted to do any collaborations and Infinite said, yeah, just whenever we get a chance to go ahead and hook up, find something to do. So Infinite has allowed me to upload on his channel. And also I like to give stuff in return. So whenever he wants to upload on my channel, he also has the right to do so. So that covers that now. On my channel, I bring a variety of different types of commentaries. I've done Call of Duty is my primary. I've done Call of Duty all the way since, I think, Modern Warfare 3. A few Modern Warfare 3 videos. Black Ops 2 is probably the bulk where my videos are at in terms of Call of Duty. And some Ghost. Ghost hasn't really entertained me as much. So when I do my videos i like to do what is entertaining to me because when i feel like when it's entertaining to me and i enjoy it then that's when my subscribers will enjoy it i'm not gonna do something just just to please somebody else because then i'm gonna sound miserable so then why will my subscribers be excited about me playing the game so that that's why i do that i've done gta 5 i love doing gta 5 that's probably the other half of where my videos are coming from at the moment i do mainly call of duty black ops 2 and then the other videos are mainly uh, gta 5 but i have a variety of games that i've done in the past 2k13 mortal kombat let's plays fight night some of those series i haven't finished up and i need to finish up but that is just what i wanted to cover about my channel now enough of the bickering about me i wanted to talk about Yes, you already know what the topic is probably going to be. The upcoming Call of Duty, that is Advanced Warfare. Now, the topic that I wanted to raise today is, could Advanced Warfare be the hit or miss for the future Call of Duty purchases? As you all know, Ghost, at least in my opinion, and from what I've heard around the YouTube community and just playing online in general, that community, that Ghost is not the most appealing game in terms of the Call of Duty franchise. Ghost has brought a lot of stuff that people just dislike the from the IEDs. I mean, you're going to have something in every game that is basically suitable for the campers and IEDs and those type of things were one of them. But just the map sizes and all that stuff in general, just how fast you get dropped in that game, a lot of a lot of that stuff kind of turned off a lot of people. Now, with Advanced Warfare, I've heard a lot of people say if Advanced Warfare isn't good and it's not a good Call of Duty, then I'm never probably going to buy Call of Duty again. Now, truth be told, I don't think that's necessarily too true that they're going to not buy Call of Duty again. Some people may actually stick to the word in those terms, but a lot of people are still going to purchase the next Call of Duty afterwards just to say, I'm going to see if this one's good because the last one's not as good because we all know that vicious cycle Call of Duty. Buy the Call of Duty, you enjoy it, but with Ghosts, a lot of people didn't enjoy it, so they say the next one they're going to probably like more and then they go back to playing the old Call of Duty, but we might not get that that step in the cycle with Ghost. People might just skip over going back to play Ghost. But Advanced Warfare, what do you all think? Will it be the hit or miss if they can't ex execute on Advanced Warfare? Will it turn off a lot of the purchases for future Call of Duties or do you think it will still be continued to basically 
a, be a it will always be a major franchise but basically a lot of people will still buy or do, or do you think it will lose a lot of fans this is me and boy t fizzle 88 peace out